wholeheartedly celebrated the first anniversary of the Soviet Union's entry into the war with big demonstrations in many parts of the country and speeches by leading personalities. In Birmingham, for instance, there was a large assembly composed mostly of men and women in uniform, with the Home Guard especially prominent, though many other services were well represented. The principal tribute to our great ally was paid by Lord Beaverbrook. We believe in the skill of the Russian generals. We believe in the equipment of the Russian divisions. And we believe in the fighting power and the courage of the Russian soldiers. And this is the day to proclaim our faith. Weapons we must give and raw materials. Bread we must give, and sugar too. Men we must give, equipped with tanks and with airplanes. That is a pledge of the Second Front. Life has been easy for many of us. We have not known the presence of the oppressor in our homes and dwellings. We have not been required to sacrifice freedom. And we have not been called upon to give beyond our endurance. Now the time has come to give all we have got, to fight with fierce determination, with a resolute intention, not only to equal the efforts of our allies, but to outstrip them in the battle of the just. In London, there was another sincere demonstration of our firm friendship for the Soviet people. Here, Sir Stafford Cripps was the speaker. Almost exactly a year ago today, Hitler launched his ill-judged and traitorous attack upon the Soviet people, and thus brought into being, by a stroke of the sword, that alliance between ourselves and the Soviet Union, which many of us had long sought to achieve. The time will come when we shall be able to launch a great and successful attack upon Hitler in the West. When we strike, let us strike hard and with the determination And with the determination to march through to Berlin before we call a final halt. There was also a sort of miniature Aldershot tattoo with representatives of Britain's fighting services and Britain's millions of war workers to give a timely reminder of the solid and unswerving effort made by this country through nearly three years of fighting. A reminder of what we have done and a new pledge of what we mean to do. The physical training display is served to underline the fitness of the nation to carry on the fight, whatever it is called upon to endure. London, like the rest of Britain, salutes the Soviet anniversary. Britain's people, men and women of the services, and all the men and women workers in the common cause of freedom offer their salute to Russia. <laughs>